Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Sakhir al-Ghamidi rahmatullahi alayhi rahmatin wasiya radiyallahu ta'ala anhu He narrated that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said O Allah bless my ummah in its mornings When he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would dispatch it or detach an army He would do so in the morning Sakhir radiyallahu ta'ala an was a merchant and he would dispatch his merchandise in the beginning part of the day. He became rich and his wealth increased. And this is Ruahu uh, da- Abu Dawood. Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala an, he once saw his son sleeping in the morning. So he said to him, get up. Do you sleep at a time when the provisions are being given out? Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala states, the spiritual masters of the heart considered it makru, disliked, to sleep after the morning prayer until sunrise. For this time is a golden opportunity. For the seekers, journeying to Allah, journeying to Allah during this time carries great merit. Even if they stayed up all night, they did not allow missing out on journeying to Allah during this time. It is the first part of the day and the key to the rest of the day. It is a time when provisions come down, sustenance is distributed, and blessings descend. The day is built up on this period of time, and the success of the whole day depends on it. Therefore, one should only sleep through it if one has no other choice. So here, Ibn al-Qayyim, rahimahullah ta'ala, he's highlighting the fact that the mornings are blessed. The mornings are the time of barakah. So striving to begin your day uh, at the Fajr prayer is is a, something which is great, and to stay up until the uh, Dhuhr prayer, you know, and, and being in the remembrance of Allah and and, cha- and seeking out your provisions and so forth. So you find that there are so many blessings in the beginning part of the day when you start your day early and you begin your journey to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala early. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Bless us to be of the dhakadina wa dhakadat. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyina Muhammad.